how many people sitting in this room have ever been capital H hungry? Now, I never have, but as I'm sure many of you are aware, there are about 800 million people on the globe who are malnourished right now. And if that's not enough to concern you, how about the fact that by 2020, the world is facing a major deficit in big crops like wheat and potatoes, simply because of a rising global population. Now, to prevent a global food crisis and a world with less pasta and minestrone, plant breeders are working on using new genetic techniques to breed bigger and better crops to safeguard our future against food insecurity. One of those techniques is DNA fingerprinting. And in my thesis, I am to collaborate closely with industry to use DNA fingerprinting to engineer the next generation of crops. But what is DNA fingerprinting? Now, each organism has its own genetic code. And much like a human fingerprint, that code is unique, even amongst very closely related crops, humans, bananas, anything. So what I will assess is different methods to obtain these genetic fingerprints. Because in the world of DNA fingerprinting, not all roads necessarily lead to Rome. Once I've found the road to Rome, the best DNA fingerprinting method, I will use it to obtain the DNA fingerprints of diverse crop populations. But I won't stop there. Crops are diverse, and not only in terms of genetics, but also in factors and traits more interesting to farmers and their bottom line. And that's what I'm trying to show with these colors, the wheat. Crops are also diverse in terms of how tall the plants grow, when they flower, how resistant they are to certain pathogens, and of course, how much they yield in the end for the farmer. Now, I will collect this data along with the fingerprints, and then using some mathematical wizardry, known as regression analysis and other methods, I'm going to find the association between those genetic fingerprints and certain traits that are of interest to the farmers. Now, once we've combined those, we can dive deeper into the genetics, finding genes and specific networks of genes which are responsible for these favorable traits, the traits that we want. We can then use entirely non-GM methods, accumulating these traits in individual crop cultivars to form a sort of super crop which will withstand climate change and a growing population. And in this way, fingerprints truly will feed the world.